When you're born in this world, you're given a ticket to the freak show. And when you're born in America, you're given a front row seat. Everybody's got a cell phone that'll make pancakes and rub their balls so they don't, that nobody wants to rock the boat, nobody wants to change. We're in a nice downward glide. I call it circling the drain. I think we squandered the great gifts. I think humans were given great, great gifts. We polluted it with this stuff, things, material goods, games, gizmos, toys, gadgets, having possessions. I has got a bigger truck. He says, she is truck. It's bigger than mine. I'm getting a new truck. Get, here's a big truck. Oh, I'm getting that one. That's what you got a video in it? You DVD too? He don't have a VD. Hi, Eric. Thank Hi. you so much for being with us today. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thanks for sliding on. We uh -huh. are here to talk to Eric about Black Friday. It has come early this year. That's right. Uh, with the economy the way it is, retailers are doing everything they can to pry dollars out of reluctant customers' hands. So, you know, this is a very important season to retailers. It could be 25 to 40 percent of their year's total sales. So if they can expand the shopping season by a little bit, by advancing it, anything in this economy helps. Well, I mean, at this point, though, last year people were pinching pennies just as much as this year. So why are we seeing this now? Well, we're seeing it now because it's a way to expand the shopping season and give retailers that many more chances to, you know, sink their hooks into you. This is the world I grew up in. Like many others, I was born with this bright, flashing, shiny promise shoved right in my face. The true happiness was just a credit card swipe away. When I was a kid, the world told me that the coolest kids wore the coolest sneakers. When I got a little older, it convinced me that my success was defined by a college degree and a job with benefits. Today, it reminds me endlessly that I should have another drink and buy a new car. But I gotta tell you, the only real message I've heard through the noise is that this world knows better than I do what's best for me. It seems to me that most Americans have internalized the propaganda that consumerism pummels and plies them with daily. So we internalize this system, we can't envisage anything different. I mean, a number of people were speaking about, well, why do people break windows and steal consumer goods? I mean, the poor have been pummeled with this propaganda. What do you expect them to do, go out and loot a good job and good education? <laughs> Capitalism! Wow! What are you doing here? I think the better question, son, is just what do you think you're doing here? Putting money in my piggy bank. Crippling our nation by stagnating the economy and throwing us into another recession is more like it. Hey, girl, piggy save me, please. do we consume to such a, a crazy level, a, a level that the research shows over and over is undermining our health, our societal well-being, and the environment. You know, we have to step back from before even starting this to, to recognize that most of what we do, most of what we see as normal, is actually shaped by our cultural norms. And unfortunately, where we are today is that culture has made consumerism feel normal or natural, right? So that watching five hours of television a day as a child or drinking huge caffeinated beverages at five years old, as this picture here suggests, is, is okay. You know, that we don't even question it anymore. Uh, you know, and I, the, the strong illustration of that for me is this series of pictures. Now, if you can't see, up at the top right, there's a little girl surrounded by all of her pink toys. This is a little Korean girl. The artist 
Actually, he was more interested in the gender implication process of children. I mean, just look from how young we are brought into the consumer culture, where we define our well-being, our happiness, our, our leisure, through the stuff we have, through the, the, the stuff that surrounds us. Yeah, here's a picture of a, an American little girl, uh, of course, with the princess outfit, which I've discovered from my own four nieces that, uh, well, it's, it's big business. Disney is a multi, it makes multiple billion dollars a year selling their Disney princess fantasies to little girls. But so around the industrial world and increasingly in developing countries, consumerism is becoming the default cultural pattern.